Dennis and I are going to talk about how you can use MATLAB to analyze your Pi data. A lot of people already use MATLAB, and a lot of people are juggling CSV files, flat files, they're trying to find a way to store their data, and they want a way to organize their data. And chances are a lot of these people have never heard about Pi. People are doing a lot of work they don't have to in storing the data, in figuring out ways to keep it organized, figuring out ways to retrieve the data quickly and efficiently. This is a lot of overhead that can be removed so that people can actually focus on analyzing their data. One of the products that seems very interesting to me is Event Frames. I've been working here for about a year, and I see people get a lot of value out of Batch. Event Frames seems like a really good, intuitive, and more flexible way to do the same things you can do with Batch. And also, I think there might be some possibility to integrate Event Frames with some of the work that we're doing here, but you'll have to come to the session to see that. When I was in university, I had to do research where I collected large amounts of data, and I needed to store them in some way to later analyze in MATLAB. And I had to store these in flat files. And then I had to write scripts that would go through the data, clean it up, find the stuff that I wanted, and hopefully organize it in a way where I could retrieve the data again later. This is something which, had I known about, I would have gladly used. And I think there are a lot of other people in this situation who would be really happy to know that there is a Pi system, a central place where they can get their data and then do the things they want to do with their data. I think that anyone who wants to see what the future of Pi is and wants to see how they can implement Pi in new and creative ways would benefit a lot from Veeam Campus. So if you're using MATLAB and you're dealing with a lot of data, Pi just might be the solution you're looking for.